Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com. And do y'all remember those tabs that we made the other day? And we're gonna cut some or punch some more tabs out. And I'm gonna show y'all how to use tabs in a different way than just being a tab, okay? I'll try to get the glare away from it. So this is an episode of M Scrap Busters, a challenge where I try to help you use up scrap paper in new and different ways so that you just don't throw it all away. Because everybody's got those cutoffs from a large piece of cardstock or paper or something. And you don't use all of it sometimes when you cut it down or whatever. So you've got all those pieces and it sits in your scrap pile and you're like, okay, what am I gonna do with this? So that is essentially what we do here is um, we try to help you get those used up. So I saw something the other day that sparked my mojo and I thought, hmm, okay. Most of the time when we use a tab, we just put it on the edge of a page and it sticks out of our journal like that or you know whatever off the top of a picture or something like that and that's how we use a tab and we can put a charm on it you know punch a hole in it put a charm on it we can use it as a you know thumb hold to turn a page or something like that but we can also use tabs when we make things and use them as the closure of the thing that we make. And I have not made a prototype. I wanted to do everything in front of y'all just like we are right now. Okay, so I've got just this piece of whatever. And I am going to fold it like this so essentially it's going to be kind of like a gatefold something and we're going to get say that right there okay so what I'm going to do first is ink this piece up because once we get the tab closure on there It's going to be covering some of it, so we're going to have to ink first. If you want ink. If you don't want to ink, don't worry about it. You don't have to ink. But then I'm also going to ink the folds. I'm going to ink this fold here. So that way when we open it up, it's got that on it. So we're going to get this tab figure out which side you want you know and I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and kind of fold the tab like that and I want that fold in the tab to line up with that fold on this cardstock right here so I'm going to glue this down on one side I think this side. Okay. And then for this side, I'm going to get my crocodile. Now, if you don't have a crocodile, you can use any kind of hole punch system that you have. If you've got a different kind of hole punch, go for it. I think I'm going to do the smaller one. Okay, now if you want to, you can set an eyelet there. I'm just going to go through and do some little easy ones. No eyelets or anything required. But if you wanted to dress it up really, really well, you could totally put an eyelet in there. Then I'm going to get some cording. You can get lace, you can get, you know, whatever. This has got a big knot in it. There we go. 
and I'm going to put the cording through and tie it off. You could even put a charm at the end of this if you wanted to. Tie it one more time, do a little double knot at the end of that tab and then wrap it around a couple of times if you want to. Then I'm going to get my scissors and you can tie it to that other piece if you want to or you can just wrap it like that and that closure is going to keep that closed just like that. I think I will tie that off. It would be cute if I had enough to put a little bow right there, wouldn't it? So like that. So now we can put that in a journal pocket wherever we want to in our journal and it would be like a little secret journaling in there. You could even make a pocket on the inside and make it a secret pocket that's a gatefold pocket like that. Um, another way to use these as closure is to have them kind of like a policy closure. And let me get a larger piece of scrap and show you that. Okay, we've got this piece. We're going to fold it just like we did that one. So like a gate fold down the middle. And let's ink all around just because I want to. If you don't want to, don't. And I'm using Scorched Timber, the new Tim Holtz ink. Okay, and then I'm going to also ink here and here. Okay, let me see if I've got another one like that. I think I do. Yeah. Okay, and then these will be, it's kind of like ornate little closure that you can make. So these would be um, glued down just on the edges here, and we're going to put the closure on that side. So we would just put a little bit of glue. on the backs of these like that. And then you're gonna line them up as straight as possible. Everybody knows you're human, so don't worry about perfection. And if somebody has a problem with your imperfection, you don't need them in your life anyway. You know? All right, so then I'm going to, you know, that was just a little piece of philosophy there for you. Just, you know, <laughs> thought somebody might need it. <laughs> so I gave it. I'm going to get my other hole punch. Let's see. I can reach it a lot better here. You could always hole punch it before we glue it on. So there is a large hole. And bend this one back. Put one there. I'm going to get some seam binding. And this is from Erin at um, My Scrap Cabin on Etsy. And I will leave her link, her Etsy shop link in the description box below because she has given me a discount code to share with you guys. It's Melina10 
You can get 10% off of your Etsy order in her shop. I thought that was wonderful. And I love all of her seam binding. And she says that she is sending me another pack, another shipment in the next few days. I should have it. Very excited about that because um, she let me in on a few of the little colors that she was sending and mm, one of them is my favorite color. So I'm very happy about that. Okay, so say we have two tabs that would otherwise have been used on the edges of pages and I know that's got full on it so it's giving you a glare sorry about that but is that not the cutest little closure all right now there's at least two more I want to show you that I have thought up here this same gatefold the next one is not going to be a gatefold so just hang on. This one, we're going to gatefold it so it kind of meets in the middle. I'm going to round the corners. Of the gates. So the gates have rounded corners now. And then ink my edges and then ink the fold also. How is everybody doing? How's your week been so far? Let me know in the comments if you have some crazy fun summer plans as far as vacation, things like that. Since Bethany's about to graduate, we will have a little getaway next month. Looking forward to that. Okay, there is that. I want to use the hot pink ones. There's not a lot of people that use color in their vintage creations, but, you know, I'm all about it. Use all the color you want. Okay, so here's another way we're going to do this. We're going to glue the back side of this tab onto the back side of this gatefold cutoff. Okay, so pretty much in the middle. Go ahead and fold it like you would if you were just adding a tab onto a page, a journal page. But you're just right now gluing that back side okay so we've got that flap and then we're going to glue this one if y'all hear garbage bags rattling Aaron Jonas has come in and he's flying around and I ain't going to stop him and you get them as even as you possibly can you can decorate up on these if you want to I'm I think I might do a little bit of extra little aging up here and when you open this up you can put like a big pocket right there have it as a little ephemera holder if you want to but then these are going to get I'm going to use some baker's twine on these so I'm going to put a hole there and you could always just hold these together and put the holes in then and not randomly like I am. <laughs> uh, let's get some, oh, I got some pink Baker's twine. It's not hot pink like that, but I think it'll be fine. So this is rapid fire here. This one is. So we're going to put some Baker's twine in this way and then we're going to put more on the other side let's just get it 
about the same length. Here. Then I'll fold it like this. Put my two loose ends in first. Do my library knot through the loop. Okay, same thing with this one. Twist those loose ends, put them through the hole, and then through the loop. And then you can make a longer, shorter, whatever. Tie it in the middle. I'm wanting to say that I saw this on Pink Monarch Prints. They had done um, a type of folio, if I'm not mistaken, and they had used the tabs kind of like this. So I love that one. I think that's my favorite out of all the ways, but I love them all. So now let's make get a bigger piece of scrap, designer scrap, I think that's what um, Miss Julie over at Camellia Crafts Designs calls her bigger cutoffs. Okay, here's some more from that same, this is that um, journal cover cardstock that I used. I'm going to take that branding strip off of there. And for the sake of time, I'm fine with it staying like that. We're going to make a little narrow envelope. And I'm going to cut this envelope out there with my trimmer. No measuring, don't worry about measuring. <laughs> Someone posted a, or commented the other day, well, what if I want to measure? Okay, go for it. <laughs> don't let me stop you. Measure, measure to your heart's content. But I'll do, I'll do what I want to do. Okay, and then I'm going to get my one and a half inch circle punch. And I'm going to give myself a little notch. We are getting more, or getting a whole, um, if I could think, set. That's the word I was trying to think of, y'all. That's pretty pathetic, ain't it? A set of three hole punches. The um, We Are Memory Keepers ones that I have. So the one and a half inch, the one inch, and the five eighths inch. We are getting those back in stock. I just ordered them. I had some people asking where I got mine and where they could get some. And I'm like, okay, if you want them, I will get them back in stock. We had them in stock last year. And we had them for a long time. And then... Um, sales kind of dropped on them and I thought okay so everybody that watches our YouTube that shops with us has gotten their circle punches and they're good so now we've had some people ask about them again um, got new viewers new subscribers new customers awesome so we're like okay we'll get them back in stock for a little while I'm gonna round that top flap before I ink it that's cute I love making easy envelopes like that okay so then I'm going to go ahead and glue this flap down so this is good using tabs in a different way than what you may be used to Okay, so then you have 
that and then we can get I don't want matchy matchy that would match too much which that would probably look it would look cool let's just do that <laughs> let's be matchy matchy why don't we okay before I glue it down I'm gonna go ahead and punch my hole and I'm going to punch it. Let's see, where do I want to punch it? I'm going to go ahead and fold it so I know that that fold is going to go where that line is. And I think I want to punch it up top this time. And I'm going to do the regular, the large hole on my crocodile. And I think I will set an eyelet in this one. So let's find eyelets uh, here. We have standard eyelets and wide eyelets in the shop. Um, Y'all buy them up so quickly that sometimes we get out of stock and we just have to come back and watch the website shop again. because we are um, like a little bitty Hobby Lobby, I guess you would say. But we care, carry lots more, <laughs> we carry lots more um, journaling supplies than I think Hobby Lobby does, in my opinion, anyway. Oh, that is cute. That's very cute. Okay, we're gonna glue this side down and then get it pretty center and straight. All right, then we want to make sure that once we hold this back, that is free to open up and it is. And I think I will get some seam binding from the great Miss Erin. I love her seam binding. Let's see. I think I want like a darker brown maybe. don't have dark brown but I do have this one is burnt orange it goes it's fine so we will find the end and it will happen somewhere here okay and then I'm going to put one end through my eyelet If I had a charm just sitting right here, I would totally put that on this string because that would be so stinking cute, but I don't. I don't have one right here. Okay, tight, pretty tight, but of course, don't get it too tight on there because you don't want to tear your paper. We are just working with paper and cardstock here, okay? And then I'm going to wrap it around a couple of times. You know what? I changed my mind on what I wanted to do on this. I'm going to trim that. So really, essentially, all I did was tie a double knot with that eyelet. And then I just left them free like that so that way that tab is holding that envelope fine so then when we want to open the envelope we just pull that back and the envelope opens and then we close it back the envelope is shut just fine 
just like that. No need to tie it off at all. I love that. Okay, I think I'm wanting to make a couple more that look like these. They're so pretty. Both of the, all of them are pretty, but I love those. Let's find some bigger scrap. So see what I'm talking about is if you're new here and you're new to um, journaling, if you're going to use a tab, um, you want to add it to your journal. You glue it on either side of the page like that. You close it up, your tab is showing out, and then whenever you're flipping through your journal, you can use it, you know, as a pull to turn the page. Now on these, like this, this could totally be a pocket on your page, just like, oh, <laughs> that looks good right there. I'm just saying. Just glue the back side down. And that could be a pocket, an envelope pocket in your journal. Too cute. Now this one could be a hidden journal space glued down in your journal too, just like that. Uh, and so could this one, full page, hidden journaling. Look at that, how cute. That's very cute. But now this one, since it's tied all around, it would just need to go down into a pocket of some sort or over into a tuck like that in a bag pocket or just a bottom pocket on a page. I'm trying to get the hiccups, excuse me. Like here. Cute. <laughs> I love that. So I'm gonna try to remember to mark that on my video because I have people comment that don't watch the entire video. They just comment and ask, well, how would you use that? So how I would use that comes along the, I'll have to check the minute mark, how I use. Okay, so let's make a couple more of these, but in different um, paper colors. All right, I got some six by six paper cutoffs. Oh my goodness. These would be, that would be so cute to use up six by six paper. Awesome idea. Great way to use up some tabs. So you're using your scraps in two ways on this project. You're using it with the piece itself and then you're using your scraps, punching out those tabs and using them as the closures. So we're gonna make this sort again. So ink all around the edges. No need to ink the back because some of these will be glued down in journals, so you don't have to do that. Okay, I think I'm going to round my corners of my gates. And then ink the rest. And these are white on the inside if you want to put some coffee dyed paper or whatever you can. But I have a lot of one-sided cardstock in my stock in my stash <laughs> that I need to use up. And this is a great way to do it. Now I did not fold that down the exact center. I don't care. It's fine. Um let's go with oh yeah those are pretty the if I've got another one like that yes I do right there those are very pretty. So we're gonna fold it down, just like we were gonna use it as a tab on the edge. 
and I will go ahead and punch my holes. We'll use some more baker's twine, so I'll use the smaller hole on my crocodile. And let's punch that. So now we know that the holes on both of these will be the right way or exactly the right same spot. I'll get out what I'm trying to say eventually, y'all. Okay, I think I'll go up just a little bit. And then I'm just pressing that so that the back gets on straight. And then all we've got left to do is the other side and get some baker's twine out. And we'll have to line it up, which I think I'm pretty lined up as is. Maybe go up just a touch. Okay, so then I've got a hole there, hole there. And let's find some baker's twine. That's got a little bit of a purple tint to it in the background. So let's go with some purple and I want to get instead of going library knot like I did on that one I want to get it long enough I'm just going to make a knot there and a long piece and then same with the other side we're going to tie a knot at the end And if my fumble fingers can do it, yes. Okay, so there's one knot and double knot. And then we can just clip off that excess that's frayed if you want to. Okay, and then same thing on this side. Straight through. And then tie a knot and double knot it. So maybe it does not come apart. And then we have two free edges. Oh, that's cute. To tie uh, a bow in the middle. And that's going to keep our secret journaling, our gatefold little card. You could totally do greeting cards this way and have that as just a nice little way to keep the card closed and slide it right down in your envelope. Oh, cuteness. And then let's see if we can get one of these made from this other piece of 6x6 six six paper. So I'm just going to fold up just a little ways, make ourselves a little shallow pocket. And if you have issue with uh, the directional paper going upside down, when you're making an envelope, just don't use directional paper when you're making your envelope. That's the easiest way I can tell you to avoid that. Okay. And I'm going to round my corners here. And then give myself... I'm going to tap notch this. So, right. I need to go over some to get in the center. Okay. And let's 
ink that. So I think I'll use this type of tab because I have two different tab punches. I have the EK Success one that we carry in the shop. So it's like a file folder tab punch. And then I have the well tail that Jessica Kunk sent me. Thank you, thank you. That is the uh, Stamp It Up one that Stamp It Up discontinued and I wish they would bring back for all of our people that do not have a well tail punch. Let's fold that in half and go ahead and ink that fold over. And then we're going to line that fold over up with that. And I think I'm going to do this one the same way I did that because I like how that turned out. Let's go ahead. I don't think I'm going to put an eyelet on this one. So let's use. Hmm. Let's go ahead and use the big hole punch because I want to use seam binding, not baker's twine. So I'll go ahead and do that. It's like a little keyhole that you've made. So then I'm just going to put glue on this side of my tab. Yeah, and if I can find the post, and I'm wanting to say it was Pink Monarch Prints, could have been my porch prints. I cannot remember. Just to tell you the truth, I cannot remember. But I will try to find that and link it in the description box below. That is already cute. And look at that cute pink seam binding. Whoops, sorry. I'm so loud. Okay, I'm going to hold this up and put my seam binding through. That is not dry yet, so I don't want to move that too much. And then I'm just going to get my two ends of the seam binding about the same and try my best not to jerk it so that my tab doesn't go flying off. Oh my world, as Aaron Jonas used to say. Instead of oh my word, he would say oh my world. I'm just scratching it up a little bit more. That is so and you could even put that in, um, I mean, you don't even have to use it in a journal. But you could put it in like that. How cute is that? You could put it in that way, glue down the back of it. And then you pop back that tab. And have stuff stuffed in it that way. That is just darling. I love that. I think I want to make one more envelope. They're too cute. Let's make one more envelope with a deep pocket so it'll be tall like that one. I think I want the black pattern on the inside because that red is beautiful. Okay, let's go there. Go ahead and punch my notch. Okay. Then I'm going to fold the top down. Oh my word. <laughs> the pattern on that paper is so pretty and it's got a texture to it, so that is darling. And here I am putting glue on here and I haven't inked the top where that notch is yet. I 
can always do the sides easy. Okay, let's glue that down. Now this is cardstock, so it's got a little bit of a um, drying time. So I'm going to hold that down. And I'm going to get out my decorative punch, deco punch on this side. This is made by Cropodile. It's a corner chomper. And we're going to put a deco look on that. So I'm going to ink around the edges. Ink that top flap. And then ink the sides. Ink the inside too, but of course mine's really dark, so you wouldn't be able to see it even if I did ink it. Not really anyway. That is so cute. Let's put some tags or something down in there. Let's put some pieces of ephemera down in there. So cute. All right, then let's pick out a tab or we could punch one from something else if we wanted to. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I think I'll just use that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to punch my hole at the top and I will put an eyelet in it. Let's pick us an eyelet. Oh, do I have a gold? I sure do. Let's go with a shiny gold one. Y'all, I've just been going non-stop getting these things out of here. I hadn't even really had time to chit-chat with you. We've been rocking these. And I hope you've been making along with me. I love when everybody tells me that they made stuff along with me while they were watching my video. Had someone the other day say, um, I was listening to you and you were stamping and you said um, that you would totally say um, be an enabler for us to get stamps. If you don't have stamps, go ahead and get some. The more abstract, the better. And I did say that because I love me some abstract stamps. And she said that she was listening, but she didn't have earbuds in. So she was, you know, everybody in the house could hear me. And she said that when <laughs> I was listening to your video when you said you definitely need to invest in some stamps and the more abstract the better she said that her husband looked over at her and was like giving her the side eye like uh don't get any ideas don't listen to her <laughs> I thought that was so cute yes your husbands probably don't want you listening to me ladies I'm sorry We met some people one time. Here, here's here's a little bit of story time. We met some people one time, and now they're friends of ours. They're in the um, music industry also, and <laughs> uh, we were at a multi-artist venue um, thing where everybody had booths, and we had a product on our booths and stuff. Well, this couple sang, and. <laughs> She had some of the prettiest journals and stuff on her in her booth. And <laughs> I'll, I'll put her name up here. I'll try to remember to put her name up here. Um, I walked over. I was like, oh, my goodness, your journals are beautiful. And she was like, I watch you and your mom on YouTube. And I was like, really? She said, yes, I watch you and your mom on YouTube. 
I love y'all's YouTube channels. Her husband comes over. <laughs> she has also sent me some of her journals too. They're gorgeous. Thank you so much. Um, her husband comes over and he's like, yes, yeah, she watches you on YouTube. And yes, yeah, she spends money after she watches you on YouTube. <laughs> I was like, but is she happy when she's watching us on YouTube? And he smiled with me. Yes, of course she is. She is very happy when she watches us on YouTube. I said, and you want a happy wife? And he was like, happy wife, happy life. I said, yes. So it's okay. Everything's good. It was so funny. All right. And there is that one. And I think it's my favorite of all that I've made today. Look at that. How cute are these? So all kinds of ways to use page tabs other than just folding them and putting them on the edge of your pages. And I love these. I love how they turned out. If you make these alternatives to using page tabs, if you use those, Use the hashtag M's Scrap Busters, or you can use the hashtag and put my name behind it, Melina Pollitt. And um, I try to search those hashtags all the time and leave love. So if you do, I want to see them. Y'all have a great day. I will see you in the next video. God bless. Love y'all. Bye.